welcome friends in this new video second shifting properties of inverse laplace transform so let us begin with the first uh, shifting property of inverse laplace transform if let me write the statement if l inverse of f of s capital f of s equal to f of t then l inverse of f of s plus a s plus a equal to a is to minus a s into l inverse of capital f of s so this is e raised to minus a t e raised to minus a t into l inverse of f of s this is the first shifting property of inverse laplace transform so it will be clear by taking examples let us find the inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s plus 2 s plus 2 whole raised to 5 whole raised to 5 so this is my f of s plus a f of s plus a you can see here value of a equal to value of a equal to 2 uh, hence we write it as l inverse of 1 divided by s plus 2 whole raised to 5 equal to e raised to minus 2 into t into l inverse of 1 divided by s raised to 5 okay so uh, how we have removed this 2 here you can see uh, here we get an additional step e a step e raised to uh, additional term e raised to minus 2t and this 2 will be removed now we can apply the standard formula n inverse of 1 divided by s raised to n and this is equal to t raised to n divided by gamma of t raised to n minus 1 divided by gamma of n minus 1 and this is equal to e raised to minus 2t into t raised to n minus 1 that is this is t raised to 5 so 5 minus 1 is 4 divided by gamma of 4 and uh, again gamma of 4 gamma of n plus 1 equal to n factorial so gamma of 4 is equal to uh, gamma of 4 is equal to 3 factorial we can write it as uh, 3 factorial okay so let it write uh, this is our final answer e raised to minus uh, let it be uh, put it as the same or we get e raised to minus 2t into t raised to 4 or e raised to minus 2t into t raised to 4 divided by uh, divided by gamma of 4 gamma of 4 that is a 3 factorial uh, okay now let us take one more example uh, here s divided by uh, s divided by s square s square plus 4s plus 13 this is uh, the power term now uh, we write it as s divided by uh, here s square plus 4s plus 4 plus 9 now you can see this is a expansion of s plus 2 and this is 3 square so this is equal to s plus 2 whole square s divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 3 square okay again we are uh, we are practicing this uh, laplace inverse uh, first uh, shifting property and therefore we convert this term into l inverse of f of s plus a now uh, you can see that we need uh, to apply everywhere s plus a term here in the numerator we can see that we have only s 
and in the denominator we have s plus 2 so we need here s plus 2 in the numerator and that is why we add and subtract 2 uh, and you can see we have s plus 2 whole square plus 3 square now separating, separating the numerator so s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 3 square minus 2 divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 3 square now uh, this is converted into our appropriate form so l inverse of s divided by s square plus 4s plus 13 uh, is, uh, it means that this is l inverse of these two terms s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 3 square one term and second term l inverse of 2 divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 3 square now we can apply the uh, shifting property okay here you can see again here a, a equal to 2 so this is nothing but e raised to minus 2t into l inverse of uh, now uh, this a uh, this 2 will be removed now when we multiply by e raised to minus 2t by property this will equal to s divided by s square plus 3 square now minus this 2 and uh, multiply by e raised to minus 2t again and uh, this 2 will be removed from this s plus a term and we get 1 divided by s square plus 3 square okay so uh, e raised to minus 2t into this is a standard notation uh, 1 divided by 3 into cos of 3t minus 2 into e raised to minus 2t into 1 divided by 3 into sine of 3t okay so to be more simplified we can take uh, 1 by 3 common or e raised to minus 2t common and divided by 3 and we get cos of 3t minus 2 into sine of 3t this is our required answer okay so this is a uh, uh, s let me check uh, first uh, the um, exact formula for s divided by s square uh, here we have here is not 3 uh, this is uh, 1 by uh, cos of 3t only so we have to remove this and uh, we get that this is not a 3 okay so we have to remove this this is not a standard formula uh, we have to just write here um, cos of 3t standard formula is cos of 3t not 1 by divided by a okay and therefore here 3 remains and we have here 2 divided by 3 2 divided by 3 into sine of 3t so it is to minus 2t cos of 3t minus 2 by 3 sine of 3t uh, here you can see how we have applied the first uh, shifting uh, property now let us see the second uh, shifting property second shifting property is again a very easy uh, L inverse of second shifting property L inverse of e raised to minus a s into f of s equal to f of t minus a into <coughs> unit step function t minus a so whenever uh, we have e raised to minus a s in the multiplication uh, we can write directly it as f of t minus a into u of t minus a let us uh, see example e raised to minus pi s divided by divided by s plus 3 so friend here uh, let us first find f of t capital f of s equal to 1 divided by s plus 3 
सो एल इनवर्स ऑफ वन डिवाइडेड बाय एस प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू दिस इज अ स्टैंडर्ड इरेस टू माइनस थ्री टी एल इनवर्स ऑफ ओके सो एल इनवर्स ऑफ इरेस टू माइनस फाइव एस इनटू वन डिवाइडेड बाय एस प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू हियर व्हाट इज अ ए ए इज इक्वल टू पाइ so we have to just uh, subtract this uh, a from t uh, so this will be e raised to minus 3 into t minus pi into u of t minus pi this is a very simple answer of this problem now let us see one more example e raised to इरेस टू माइनस एस डिवाइडेड बाय यस प्लस वन होल क्यू ओके सो हियर व्हाट इज माय एफ ऑफ यस एफ ऑफ यस इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय यस प्लस थ्री एस प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर सो यल इनवर्स होल क्यू एल इनवर्स ऑफ दिस इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय यस प्लस s plus one whole cube equal to now we apply first shifting property first shifting property so e raised to minus eighty eighty minus t into l inverse of one divided by s cube equal to e raised to minus t into t square divided by gamma of two t square divided by gamma of two and gamma gamma of 2 okay uh, then this is a uh, l inverse of f of s therefore l inverse of e raised to minus s into 1 divided by s plus 1 whole q equal to uh, we have to just uh, subtract a from t where wherever t so we have e raised to minus minus this is t minus 1 into T minus one whole square divided by gamma of two into u of t minus one. So this is a simple answer. We have applied. Uh, you can see how we can apply the second shifting property uh, and find this uh, L inverse of this function. Here, what is a a is equal to one, and we get this simple. Uh, answer uh, just we have subtracted a from t wherever t okay so friend thank you thank you for watching the video